Hi, this is George Woodham from El Dorado Recording Services on the web at vostudiotech.com. This is the procedure for setting up effects chains in Audacity. So first start with your raw, raw recording. Here's my raw undid file. This is totally raw without any processing whatsoever. First thing we got to do is figure out what effects we're going to use and what order we're going to apply them. So you have to do everything manually first to create the, uh, you know, to create the initial effects um, that you want to use on the, on the project. Well, in this particular case, I'm going to use some normalizing. I always start with normalizing. And for the sake of consistency, I always start by normalizing to minus 3 dB. That makes sure that each file I process, um, you know, the, the levels are calibrated just right for the perfect levels. Um, and so the effects will all behave properly. Once I've done that, then I'm going to apply the other effects I want to use. Well, I'm going to use um, uh, noise removal. So I'm going to pick a little bit of the room tone and do my noise removal and create my noise profile. If you record in the same room all the time, you should only have to do this once in that space. And then it'll use that same noise profile for the rest of your you know, recordings. Now I'll do my noise uh, reduction process. And these are the settings I like to use. It's going to depend on the amount of noise you have and the severity of the issue, and um, among other things. But these are good settings to maybe start with. OK, so I've done my noise redu reduction. Next thing I like to do is some equalization. So for this project, I have an EQ curve I've already created. So I'm going to apply that and notice the name of the EQ because you're going to use that when you create the chain. Okay, so now I've applied my EQ. And next I like to use some compression and these are the base settings that I'll usually start with. Uh, attack and delay as quick as possible, compress based on peaks and the settings you see here. All right, so, and sometimes I'll do one last normalize just to make sure that the levels are consistent from job to job. All right. That's the complete process I'm going to apply or create, or let's say, I should say. That's the complete process I'm going to recreate using the effects chains tool. So I'll visit file and edit chains. And you've already, you see I have one here for David B already. That's the project I'm working on, but I'll recreate it for you to make a new one. David B2. Here's a blank template. So what was the first thing we did? First thing we did was normalize. So we'll go to insert, normalize, double click on normalize. Edit parameters, make sure they're set the way you want them, and then click OK. Then what did we do? We did noise reduction. Insert, noise removal, double click or check edit parameters, make sure they're set correctly, and you're OK. Then what did we do? We did equalize. So we'll do insert, equalization, Edit parameters. I double clicked on equalization, then edit edit parameters. Choose the curve that you'd saved. Okay. And then we did I did compression. Double click. Edit. Make sure the settings are what you want. Click OK. And OK. And last but not least, I did one more uh normalize. Insert normalize parameters are good okay okay so now we have a david b2 that's my new chain click okay so if i was to undo all the processing that we just did going back to the original file and simply this time instead of going through all those steps manually go to file Apply chain and choose the chain that I just created, David B2, and apply to this current project. See what happens? It's like magic. 
it's applied all the effects that I had chosen for this project. So here's the before. This is David Brecker. Pepper Oaks Farm Tandoori Masala Olive Oil. And here is the after. This is David Brecker. Pepper Oaks Farm Tandoori Masala Olive Oil is a unique flavor adventure. A little bit brighter, a little more present. A uh, little bit lower noise floor, so it's a nice tweaked sound without sounding overly radio processed. That's what I happen to like for voiceover. So your settings will vary, and if you want to help with your settings, certainly you can contact me at vostudiotech.com. Check out the services menu and choose virtual, uh, let's say the services virtual engineer support page, and uh, I can set you up with your very own presets. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. This has been George Whittem from VOStudioTech.com.